So what we always like to do at the end of these is to wrap things up a little bit of fun. Um, we, we like to play a little game of truth or dare. Uh, so <laughs> don't get, don't worry, don't worry, it's completely fine. Let's begin with Jan. Are you ready for this? Uh, sure. What would you What would you like to choose? Okay. I think I'd rather go with truth. Here we go. So the truth. Tell us a secret about your film. Uh, something awkward that happened on set, or something related to uh, the production. Something awkward. Something awkward. Well, there were there were a few awkward things, but I think. Uh, <laughs> well, one thing that happened a few times. There are some entrances to the hotel room, and a few times the key card didn't work. So the actors were prepared, and the camera was prepared, and then, and uh, but no one could come in the door. Impersonate the uh, one of the characters from this film for <laughs> us. <laughs> yeah. uh... Boy, I, don't, I mean, I'm trying to think if I could do whatever Andrew did. It's yeah. Obviously, the, the only male character in that. Uh, yeah, I mean, as far as what, I mean, I could do the one stair line that you did. You know, you just, Andrew always had a, I don't, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's the best I can do. I'm sorry. <laughs> Mahesh, uh, truth or dare? I'll take truth. It's not always boring. Sometimes <laughs> okay. it's more exciting. The, the, the biggest error you feel you're being haunted by from the production, if that makes any sense as a, as a question. Yeah, I, I mentioned before that uh, we went back to Neil's studio about 12 times. Um, there's a big gap between the 11th time and the 12th time because I was just fed up. I'm like, how come your table's not done yet? And, <laughs> and so there's this huge chunk, like right near the end, you're like, oh, well, he finished polishing it. But what happened between the time when he, you know, cut off all the stuff and then he polished it? Like oh, all of a sudden, it's like it's done. There could be like another sequence there in the middle. But I, I just, you know, it was it was summertime. We were all out having a good time, and I just never went back to the studio. So I apologize for that, Neil. There's a little sequence there we could have done. <laughs> well, I remember when I, told you, I remember when I told you it's done. You said I was expecting to get this call. <laughs> <So>. <laughs> We're finishing with you, Neil. Truth or dare? Well, well. First, I'll embarrass myself by saying I, I've never played this game, and I'm not quite sure what it is. So I'll, I'll embarrass myself further and go with dare. Okay. <laughs> right. Uh, here we go. Tell us a joke about concrete. <laughs> uh, uh, my God, are there any concrete jokes? Um, they're pretty solid. Uh, the, the image that came to mind is, is uh, God. There's a film with Bruce Willis where he's they're they're they have his feet in concrete and he's just wait they're waiting for it to dry. Uh, so it's not really a joke. I guess this is I don't know any concrete jokes, but this this was like my funniest association with concrete. You know, Bruce Willis is naturally funny, so he's he's trying to talk his way out of it as the concrete's hardening, and uh, I forget exactly what happens, but. Um, I think they ended up throwing him off the ship. I've enjoyed myself thoroughly. I hope you have uh, as well. Thank you very much. And I'll see you another time. I just wanted to lie down. Naked woman. Touched. Kissed from head to toe. It's not like I picked you up under false pretenses. This was mutual. Wanna get naked? Who's here? It's my husband. Huh. I find myself in an interesting position in life. sort of felt a little bit blocked, maybe because I was so busy with other things. All of a sudden, to my surprise, all this creative energy started arising. I don't really know how I came up with this form. 
And it was really about all the universal forces. When smoke goes up, it goes up in a spiral. The way the magnetic, Earth's magnetic field creates forms. If, if you split an apple, you know, it, you can see the magnetic field in, in the cross section of the apple. So there's all these different forms. And so there are these underlying forces that we're not even aware of. So that really gave me an appreciation of the, of the power behind forms and seeing beyond the surface of the form.